No, no, leave it. Go down, I said. Down, I said. Go down. Down. Stop. Oh, you. Down. Don't do that. Why? What's wrong? Down. What's wrong? 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 Chinese. Go down. No, no, I'm not Chinese. Yes. Yeah, Chinese, go uh, down. We're going home. We are going no, home. not going home. You're going. Going, you, going home. Hey, why are you touching don't him? Tell me why are you touching what's him? in his thing? Oh, what's in there? We're trying to fish. What's in there? Chinese. Yeah, yeah. What's it? Why? Why? You steal. You steal. You, steal. you, steal. you, steal. you can't. Do anything on your own. Steal what? All you have to do is steal from us. Steal what? what? Steal what? Lots of assumptions being made by that racist piece of garbage. They're attacking two uh attacking two folks that were out just fishing this down in Australia. This Korean couple is in Brisbane. Uh so he talked about how they were Chinese spies and attacks them with this crutch or something along those lines. Uh he didn't know that he could have gotten his ass whooped, but they're just they're better people than I am. Let's keep it real. Uh, so one of these victims, his name is Ajo Prasong. He's a Muay Thai instructor. That's where the ass whooping should have come. Was fishing on the Brisbane River with his friends from Korea when the man approached them and began physically and verbally attacking them around 8.30 at night on April 25th. Uh, so he was interviewed about this whole thing and why it happened, and he was still trying to figure it out, too. Let's watch. Asking the man what they'd done wrong to make him so upset. I'm not really sure. I don't know why, no reason. Just come and get hit people. I try to stop him, but him try to push me in the water and try to fight everyone. The group, obviously very shaken up, called police. Job is actually a Muay Thai boxer working in a local gym while studying. He has a little boy and he says in the six years he's lived in Brisbane, He's never encountered anything like this before. The police were called and this man was interviewed for around half an hour. And I guess he feels emboldened to continue to do these things. Some of the things that he was saying, Ray, you know, you'll hear that on your uh, local, not local one, but at least your uh, network Fox News station, or maybe it's Newsmax, or maybe it's OAN. They're all battling for these same types of folks. Yeah, and I mean... He, that man is lucky that he did not get, you know, his ass kicked, <laughs> to, just to put it plainly, because the person was, a, a, they said, Muay Thai fighter and works in a gym. I mean, <laughs> if they, if you wanted to unleash on that man, he could have. Um, and, you know, to try to make sense of racism, I think is, you know, there is no sense in it. It's bigotry. You know, the man is attacking these people for minding their own business because he's racist and because he's a horrible person. And I think he should have gotten put in his place, but you know, I'm also someone who I think that if I tell the police what happened, they're gonna believe me versus, you know, if I if I was a person of color, I think they'd probably be less likely. So you have to be more, you know, uh, you have to be more restrained in your actions, which I don't think is fair. I think that man absolutely should have had his ass beaten in mm -hmm. that situation, but the, you know. The, the consciousness you have of understanding how that may work for you, other folks have it too, but they think, I can do that. Let me find a way to have this come to my advantage and continue to perpetuate my racism. If he thinks he can go and ask me what's in that bucket, what's in this, who the F are you, bro? It's just the way these things work. And uh, he thinks society's going to back him up. He was fine, like a couple hundred bucks. That's more confirmation. Let's keep it real.